What is up guys, it's your boy Raven, today with another deck tag gameplay and analysis. And today I want to show you the deck that is called Zorark Garbodor Weevil Sneasel. Um, actually it's Zorark Garbodor, but it is uh, it consists also of uh, Weevil Sneasel. Great deck, great deck against a deck that utilizes a lot of items which are now electric type decks or that have a lot of abilities, which also are, you know, current top uh, T top tier decks so let's just jump right into a deck and let's see what is inside I'm gonna play two games and you'll see the deck in action so first first things first we have one ditto prism again ditto prism goes anywhere in stage one decks then we have two sneezles with a fury swipes and a beat up because 60 HP this is this is really 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 cl crucial 60 HP and we have two weevils with evil admonition on top of that we have four Zoruas, four Zorarks, two Tapuleles, one Trabish, one Garbodor that is it that is it it's as simple as it gets we want to attack with Zorark, we want to attack with Weevil, we want to attack with Garbodor. Those are our main attackers. Then we go to trainers, uh, 33 trainers. That seems a lot, but with you know with uh, Zorark, you can easily get to uh, the ones you need. So let's go, let's look at them. We start with two Acrobikes, right? So nice two Acrobikes, then one Field Blower, one Great Ball, three Nest Balls, one Rescue Stretcher, and one Switch. So we can switch things uh, around then we have a line of four and really four ultra balls to get you know the stage ones that we need when we need them then one devoured field to actually increase uh, the damage dealt by the zona arc by 10 and of course you know to do something with the stadiums two aceroas four cynthias four guzmas all four copies of uh, Guzma are gonna be needed and then we have one judge two as uh, two lilies two professionals elms lectures because we want to set up the deck pretty fast turn one Tate and Liza three choice bands and let's go to the energy right the energy looks a little bit weird but uh, don't worry we have 4 DCE for the Zorark then we have rainbow energy two rainbow energies so this energy can go either to weevil or uh, a garbodor and then we have three dark type that will go definitely to weevil but also will help the arc get a gx and one uh, psychic type for garbodor that is it like that's all this deck needs to be good that all this deck needs to actually make an impact and show the current uh, decks that are in the ladder that he is the deck to be uh, feared so let's go let's play the first game and let's see where we're gonna go so do you want to start first or we want to go second uh, we want to go first because we want to evolve first right so this is the uh, ideal turn for a uh, Zorark deck we want to start uh, our game so let's go heads it's always heads and I told you it's always heads so let's go would you like to go first yes I do I really want to go first well uh, if you want you can you know change little things in this deck like for example you know if you want and if you feel like it you can add the Mars Shadow definitely will fit uh, to the deck you can you know fit Absol uh, to the deck definitely uh, an option but what we're doing here is kind of a different a different different version of it so um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go for Layla actually I don't have to go even go for Layla I believe uh, since we have Tate and Liza no we're we gonna go for Layla so um, I'm gonna discard field blower and I'm gonna discard uh, nest ball. I'm gonna go for tapu Lele, like, Go for lily, right? And from that, like I know it's gonna be definitely hard uh, when you no know, he has a Gengar Mimikyu. So playing lily is not like you know the brightest idea, but. It's gonna take him some time, uh, at least two turns, to get the poltergeist going. So I can try uh, to play, I can try to risk it. And there we go, we have a Ditto, we have a Zorua, we can play Great Ball. And we got a Weevil. So I don't think Weevil is going to be needed in this matchup, to be quite honest. So um, the same kind of goes to, to, to Trubbish. Mm. But yeah, I'm gonna put energy on Trubbish, uh, just in <coughs> sorry, just in case <coughs> we would have to uh, attack. 
Then of course, you know, uh, this prism, right? The full moon star for each of your opponent's Pokemon in play attach uh, energy. So, uh, of course, from the discard pile, so he's gonna definitely want to discard a lot of stuff. And the Marshadow, um, that is interesting. If he's gonna really play Marshadow, because I would think he wants to, you know, have us a lot of uh, cards in hand. I know it's a really nice matchup, uh, I would say, you know, I have not seen um, in a while uh, Gengar Mimikyu tag team, so definitely something that is a little bit refreshing to see, but again we have Malamars, we have uh, Lunala and a Mars Shadow after Lily, this is unconventional I would say, uh, but yeah, it works uh, for him. There we go, we got a Cynthia, Devoured Field, uh, Energy. Well, I'm gonna admit it worked miracles for us. So I can't play anything that's a horror uh, GX, so bam, let's leave it. So we're gonna see a knockout on Zerua. But knowing that, looking at this, uh, I think we're gonna have a knockout, a straight on knockout if I'm gonna pull uh, Weevil. Why? First things first, um, weakness, right? Again, Zorark also can uh, knock out, <coughs> knock out, knock out uh, Gengar Mimikyu. So we're gonna have a knockout uh, due to weakness, but also the amount of abilities that he's using. So weakness works in our favor. Um, one, two, three, and you know he's careless with items, and I'm like picking Zoru, I know so. Okay, so it's gonna be a Tapulele probably, right? Yeah, okay, so Tapulele, Retreat, and Knockout on Tapulele, or I would not say that it's a Knockout on Tapulele, I think that's, yeah. I think that was, you know, just a bad, bad, bad usage of uh, a card like, you know, like a GX move. But, um, so I'm gonna go and try to get my Zoroark actually going. Cynthia. Okay, we still have two acrobikes, so we have a chance to actually draw what we need. But if I'm not gonna draw, well, it's gonna be a problem. Uh, we got an Ultra Ball. Thankfully, we got an Ultra Ball, so I don't need the Zoroark right here. I don't need another uh, Dark type energy. I can discard it. I can play Zoroark. And that's it, like that's the game, right? So that was a game one. So you see the consistency is there. Even though uh, the game was not long, I think it was, you know, a great game to showcase the deck. We're gonna go to game two. Uh, let's play a game two. Maybe now it's gonna be a different opponent. Who knows? Hopefully it's gonna be a different opponent. But that's, you know, kind of what you wanna do. You wanna adapt uh, towards the situation that you're facing, right? So. You saw that I have not, you know, played um, Weevil right away. Uh, I was reluctant to play him because, you know, I have no clue if he's going to play a lot of Pokemon with abilities or not. <clears throat> but then, you know, when I realized, okay, there are going to be a lot of abilities, I can play Weevil. He started playing items. Okay, I can put energy on, 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 on uh, Garbodor, right? So, <clears throat> preparing, preparing, preparing. Those turns are crucial. And say mid-range deck, right? So first turns are not gonna be like you know the most intense turns, um, but definitely are gonna be super, <clears throat> super, super nice. Now this is a problem because uh, as you can see, we are gonna be facing a weakness. So I have to go straight for the sneasel. And actually, I don't know. Huh. Should I play a DC in here? Um, you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna play a DC in here. Not gonna use uh, my Ultra Ball yet, right? So not using Ultra Ball yet, and hopefully, um... okay. So it's a Zoro Rock, all right. Um, which means that Weevil was a great, great, great uh, option for me. So Sneasel and Weevil. So definitely Weevil next turn. I'm gonna be trying to retreat. Or maybe not next turn. I'm gonna wait. Actually, uh, I'm gonna go for Zorark first. Cause uh, you know what, like retreating can work, but there's only 100 damage that I will be able to deal, right? Cause let's say he has, you know, uh, Lele plus Zorark that he has in his hand. 
so that is only a hundred damage that I'm dealing. Okay, counter gain. And the hundred damage is, you know, nothing uh, against, against, against uh, Lycanroc or Zoroark, right? And Mook, with Power of Alchemy, which will do nothing, and he knows that. So he goes for Zoroark. Will it be will be evolving and he is going to search for Lincoln Rock or maybe he has a Lincoln Rock action he said no okay so Zorak still in a hand a really interesting play so let's go for our Zorak and I think I'm just gonna play Lily uh like Lily and Lily just to keep Titan Liza in hand. And you're still being able to draw uh, five cards, or I can play a judge. And actually, I think judge is going to be a lot better because it's going to definitely you know, slow down his hand. Um, I know he has the arc for the next turn, so that's kind of a, a little bit of a risky move, but I think it is a, a necessity right here. Mm, I. Do not want to trade yet. Um, okay, let's trade on the Guzma. We have we play four Guzmas, so I can trade on him. Okay, we got Acerola. So actually I can get second Zora arc. So there we go. We have the engine running, right? So this hundred damage that we can deal, we have the nice engine running. And Righteous beating for the knockout, the first knockout of the game. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. So now he's gonna go for Zoroark. And him going for Zoroark can mean two things. Uh, either going for, you know, attack only, nothing else. Or like, preparing Lickin Rock on the bench, you know, with trading. All in all, um, my strategy is going to be um, going for Weevil, Energy of, uh, on Weevil. Okay, Guzma, oh, it's going to be on Sneasel, right? It has to be. On Lele, out of all the things. So, Guzma on Zerua, like, we have to cut down the Zerua, he has a choice band here. The you know, Zerua is the card that is going to be hard to, to remove. Uh, Zorark, I mean, uh, it's gonna be hard to remove, so as he comes, uh, we destroy his options, right? So, definitely no Zorua for him. And that's why, you know, the power of those four uh, Guzmas comes into play, right? Because we do not have play Lickin' Rock, we do not play uh, Bloodthirsty Eyes, which means that uh, switching options are a little bit limited. But they're still still really good, like you can see that clearly in this game. Okay, so he's gonna be playing Lick and Rock. Uh, 100 damage is what I can deal. Okay, so he went for a Lele. So I'm assuming he does not have a DC. And I think that's a fair assumption. Which means I can uh, do this and trade on an Ultra Ball. Okay, so <laughs> I'm gonna be hitting those Zeruas. Like uh, that's what I'm gonna be doing. Those Zeruas are gonna go down. Bam! There we go. A righteous beating. So I will unable him uh, to play uh, Zora arcs. Um, I know Lickin Rock can really mess me up, like it's a one hit KO for Lickin Rock. I'm aware of that. I'm really, really aware of that and it is scary. It is really, really scary with a close slash. But I had to take those risks. I'm gonna I know I'm gonna go down to um only few prizes, so like he's gonna go down to two prize cards. But sometimes, you know, you do what you gotta do. Trade on one Cynthia. No, I have only one Garbodor. Oh, man. 
That's not that's not gonna work. But this is gonna work uh, here. So rescue stretcher, um, not really. But what I can do is haunt and Liza. Okay, devoured field. Acrobike. So I'm just trying to, you know, raise as much um, damage. Like I want to deal as much damage as it is possible. So uh, him going to two car price cards because he is going to go down to two price cards uh, will not do a lot of damage to me if I'm going to draw uh, Weevil because Weevil will knock out Looking Rock. Then I have my own Zorark, he can have Zorark, and it is going to be a standoff, it's going to be really interesting. But his Guzma can really mess me up as well, so let's see where this is going to go. Because he knows that uh, I have a knockout next turn, no matter what. It's the same as I know that he has a knockout this turn, no matter what. So he has to calculate if he's gonna have another DCE and Zorark. Let's check. Okay, Mallow. So definitely you know, two cards on top that he wants. So maybe Acrobike is gonna go after that. So he's definitely preparing his next turn. It might be Guzma, but it's gonna be you know down to, to prize card, so hmm. Really, really interesting. Let's look at one, two, three, four. So that is 80 damage that I can deal. Not enough. Okay, Rock Ruff. So this means he will be preparing a Lick and Rock. Hmm. So I kind of have to start relying. Okay, he did not play Energy. Cynthia, there's. Mm, I can't play anything else on the bench. I just have to get the cards. Mm, that is Lele. No, 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 no. Not like that. Okay, 12 cards. Don't tell me now uh, that Weevil is prized. Don't tell me that. But okay, we're gonna you know pick those two prizes, so let's go. Let's take those prizes. Uh, energy and energy. So still in those ten cards, there is a weevil waiting to be played, um, or a guzma, all right? Because I'm playing four guzmas. It's one, two, three. So there's still one more guzma in my deck, and my opponent knows that, and I know that. We all know that. So it all comes down to. Uh, this is interesting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's 140 damage. If I have Weevil, that's 180 on the GX, which will mean that I'm going to be able to Guzma. Right here. But the Guzma can be still in prize cards, so. Oh boy, this is. This is really now down to the last cards. I love games like that. I do love games like that. So let's see what is going to happen. <coughs> Cynthia, okay, so he has to refresh the hand. Maybe look for, okay, there's a DCE, so we're gonna see the damage. So no matter what happens, I kind of have to get Guzma. 
which means I can use rescue stretcher that I've hold in my hand get back one zero arc use two trades so I'm gonna be down to five cards because four cards drawn because um, two trades and one draw per turn so five cards uh, this way which will mean that it's 50 50 right I have 50 percent of chance of actually getting a Guzma if not wait actually let me count it like that's 150 like if he's gonna play Lick and Rock, he's gonna play Lick and Rock, and he's gonna bring something different and something you know stupid. Okay, so he brought nothing, not even an attack. Okay. So he did not attack. Come on. So I'm trading now. It all comes down to those trades. Okay, we got a Guzma. We got a Guzma. Um, this is this is a game. This is a game. There we go. Guzma. I have one last prize. On to a Rock Ruff. One against Zoro Rock. That's how we do it. Bam! That's how we do it. So, this is the deck. Like, this game was perfect to show the strength of this deck. It's an amazing deck. I really, really, really do enjoy it. And especially in the current meta, you can see that the deck can really keep up uh, with the current standard decks. Because uh, not a lot of people actually care about uh, abilities right now. Not a lot of people care about the items they're putting inside of those decks. So definitely a fantastic, fantastic deck. Uh, to try out so I highly recommend you checking it out the list is down there below but also down there below have a five 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 percent discount on Professor Oak on any code you would purchase and also have you know a link to an eBay where you can purchase codes straight from me and those are promo codes uh, for, for, for certain promos don't forget to subscribe to the channel let's go to the 1k subscribers guys and let's make this effort let's make that road uh, let's make it happen and see you guys from monday to friday 9 9 a.m cet on twitch um and that's it raven called Sechko. that is our twitch channel don't forget to check him out don't forget to like and subscribe see you guys tomorrow in another deck tech uh gameplay and analysis that i'm gonna do have a fantastic fantastic day love ya bye bye <laughs>